Hey guys, today I'm going to give an honest critique of Tolarian Community College. Many people are too scared to say anything bad about him. I'm going to be as neutral as I can and present what I believe happened. So Tolarian Community College, he is the biggest YouTuber, the Magic the Gathering YouTuber, and he has a lot of accomplishments that he may not have been able to achieve without taking this path. In the beginning, I feel like he was just a really nice guy. He was doing it as a hobby. And when you do something as a hobby, you are a little different than if you're doing it a full-time job. Along the way, he began getting a lot of donations. He then either quit or was fired from his part-time job at a community college, which he made very public. I felt that the, how public it was isn't necessarily something good because it would show that if he wanted to go back to teaching in college, a college probably wouldn't hire him because he would put them on blast. Now, he, I don't believe he ever mentioned who the college was, but from knowing where he lives, which we do know where he lives because he's mentioned that and the expenses associated with his living, you can kind of conclude where it could be. And if I was an employer... I wouldn't want my employee or vendor or a 1099 vendor to talk about it, on, especially on a Magic the Gathering channel, which is not related to English. Or... Tolarian, another interesting trait about him is he is an English professor. And if you see the way he edits his videos, it's very clear that he is very picky and choosy with his words, especially the video can I have a dollar? Now, I fully believe that he had great intentions coming into it, but those intentions can always change. Imagine, okay, let's take a scenario. Let's close your eyes right now. And imagine that you can make $200,000 being a YouTuber, a magic gathering YouTuber. People would fly you to London. People would put you up in a hotel. You would be so famous and so popular, you would get everything. Wizards of the Coast will kneel before you. Now, who wouldn't want that job? I think most of you would want that job. Now, what is the cost? What is the cost? Everything in life has a cost. Nothing in life is for free. I believe the cost has to do with the monthly magic box. I keep coming back to this because they keep scamming people even today. I have evidence that this guy, possibly in jail, is still charging free people that were signed up by Tolarian or Weds. They don't even know. These free people have no idea they've been charged over $1,000 since 2014 because they're on automatic PayPal charge. I have the screenshots. The cost is very simple. The cost of being the biggest YouTuber and being sponsored and flown to places and paid out the nose to promote products like Card Kingdom, or I assume, I don't know if Ultra Pro pays them, but Ultra Pro definitely pays the command zone to these the sponsorships. The cost is very simple. You're not an ordinary Magic player anymore. The ordinary Magic player spends their money on this game. Very few Magic players or Magic content creators or Magic personalities, even pro Magic players, make a decent amount of money from this game. Tolarian probably makes more than... I don't know if we can name a person in Magic the Gathering, including Mark Rosewater. I'm pretty sure Mark Rosewater doesn't get paid $250,000 a year. Or even two hundred a year. Even Maybe not even 100 a year. They don't even pay their developers a hundred a year in Seattle, where the minimal developer probably gets 120, 140. Microsoft they start them at like ridiculous amounts of money. And that is the cost. Everything in life, it's like full metal alchemist. Everything in life has a cost. And the cost is sometimes, like the monthly magic box. Like Pico Trade, you have to do things that you may or may not agree with, and you have to act in a manner where you cannot 
Will Hilarion ever call out the judges who have been sec- convicted of sexual crimes? No, he's not going to do that. Will Hilarion ever call out what's currently going on with there's so many issues that he can be a voice of change. If he told Wizard of the Coast, hey, I want background checks on judges, who would stop him? Wizard of the Coast would do it in a heartbeat, but that would cost him goodwill equity with Wizards of the Coast, who gives him cards to spoil and, I assume, free product. At one point, they were sending Jeremy free product, so I don't see why they wouldn't send either Wedge or and are to learn free product. So the question is, the, the issue is always very, very, very different. Tolarian in this case gets an extra pack because he's a YouTuber. He gets his box on time. He gets his box at all. Pico points. He gets a lot of them. He starts off way better than an average Magic player. The average Magic player, if they want to go to a GP, they have to spend their own money to fly there, to have hotel. He does not. His view on Magic the Gathering is not your view. It is elevated. Imagine going to a place, making money, getting free product, and being beloved by the community. I think that is the cost of making a quarter million dollars in Magic the Gathering is you lose no matter how much you want to be an ordinary Magic player or support the ordinary local game stores. If you promote Card Kingdom, you can't do that. Card Kingdom, unless it's your local game store, is taking business away from where you play at FNM. That is the logic. And you might say, oh, well, I was never going to buy from my local game store anyway. Well, maybe true, but there are some people that would have bought from a local game store, paid the premium, gave the margins to them to allow them to op- actually have a business who now watch Tolarian's video and buys from Card Kingdom. How do I know this is true? Because Card Kingdom gives him money and is his sponsor. I mean, it's all about sponsor dollars, right? Why would a sponsor give you money unless you were bringing them in more business? That's why when you look at the websites, they always have like when, you know, Pico points, right? They have a little link that you need to sign up using that link because then that link tells the Pico trade that, hey, they signed up from the mana source or, hey, they signed up from Tolarian and we should give them points. The same with any of these boxes, Except the monthly magic box that didn't pay him. <laughs> Imagine having Tolarian, having eight videos of Tolarian for free. And all you had to do was send him a box. Sounds ludicrous right now, but that's what happened. Now, my last point of criticism is he's saying that, in this case, he's saying that this box sucks, yet he's promoting another box. Has anyone gone to this website of, I don't know what the fantasy crate is, But I went to the website, and it looks like they didn't really care. I would be semi-shocked if they actually did a good job, because on their website, they have a video of Absolute MTG, who has not been producing Magic content for maybe a year for some time. I bet you they're still automatically charging their people as well. The monthly Magic Box is charging free people who don't know, who have an auto-pay. It's probably going straight to their credit card. They have never checked and they've ch- charged them over $1,000 auto pay. They've never received the box. Maybe they received their first box, but they haven't received the box since it's been out of business and its owner potentially is in jail, whose name I know, but we're doing some background on him right now. The problem is very simple. The problem is Tolarian is not your average gamer. He is not your average Magic player who spends their own money. He's the reverse. He's a Magic content creator who makes money from Magic the Gathering, who gets free product, who gets free airplane tickets and hotel. So his experience is going to be a lot more positive in many areas than yours. 
if he gets 50,000 Pico points, or not 50, 50,000 dollars of Pico points, and you get three dollars of Pico points, yes, he's going to love Pico trade because he has 50,000 points. 50,000 dollars. Gosh, the Pico numbers are so insane that, like, even sometimes it confuses me sometimes because it changes so often. But anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. I know many of you won't agree because he is a paragon and a pillar of our community. But how did he become that way? And has he changed? And I know a lot of you will argue he hasn't changed, but money, well, he did change because he quit his job or he was fired from his job. Something happened to his job. And his livelihood, his family's livelihood depends on him making Magic Gathering content. Tell me, please tell me that doesn't change someone. Because I would love to know how that making a quarter million dollars doesn't change anyone. Anyway, bye.